Albion Nation, this is Tim with APTV here live from Mission Bay Stadium right before the pros are kicking off versus SoCal SC Special A today. I had the chance to sit down with Coach Ziggy Kurtowski, our CEO Noah Gins, and Albion's first ever homegrown player to start at an NPSL season match, Townsend Myers. Standing here with Albion Pro's head coach Ziggy Kurtowski. Coach, you're going into this game with an eight game unbeaten streak. Are you having your rituals right now? Are you changing anything? Tim, we take it one game at a time. You know, I, I know we, we, we talk about it, it's the old cliche, but there's really no other way to look at it. You know, we, we've set a bar very high for ourselves. Uh, we've got a saying, you know, that we, we use quite often that the standard is the standard and, and nobody else sets that bar but ourselves. And so, you know, every game's a, a new challenge, you know, whether it's a, a variety of new players, uh, whether it's a, a, a competition we're up against, but there's definitely going to be challenges. And, you know, for us, it's to go out there and play to perfection. You know, we, we have a certain style we want to play. We, we, we want to win and um, we want to entertain. And, and we've been very fortunate over, you know, my two years here that we've done a lot of entertaining. And, uh, you know, so, you know, for the most part, we're just, um, we're, we're, we're taking it day by day and, and um, but excited for this evening. Speaking of a certain style that you guys want to play, it's almost like FC Barcelona with a culture in the club. It starts with the pros on top and it goes all the way down to the juniors, to the youth players. And one player that has been a, represent, a representer for this, an icon almost in the youth, is going to make his debut for the team today, Townsend Myers. What can we expect from him today? Well, you know, I, I think first off, I mean, he does represent our youth club, but we have so many talented players that go on, you know, and, and, and any one of these uh, talented players could have come in with an opportunity. But, you know, we felt that Townsend was ready. Um, you know, we're, we're not going to play a player that we don't feel is capable of, of, of helping us achieve our goals on that given day. And, um, you know, Townsend, he's worked really hard. He's, he's been just a... You know, from the time he entered the club, he's been here 12 years, I believe, and, and he's done all the right things. And he's a kid of great character, great work rate. He's, he, he, he knows the, the Albion way. And so, you know, we're, we're, I'm excited. I'm happy for him. And, you know, at the same time, it's just a, a, another step in this great organization that, you know, our, the, the integration from our, our pathway to the pros is just, it, it's spot on. And, and uh, so we're, we're, I'm excited to see the, his performance tonight. I'm, I'm happy for him. Uh, I've been with Albion for 12 years. This is a fantastic opportunity and I want to help the team the best I can to clinch a spot in the playoffs. Uh, I just have to play simple, I have to play fast, and I know that I have to have good spacing in the middle and just help my team as, as best as I can. Developing not too long ago we had Townsend Myers playing in one of those all-star matches and now he's debuting as the first Albion homegrown player in a regular season NPSL match. What does that mean? It's, the, it's really what this whole thing's about. Uh, we want to integrate the players. We want to develop players ultimately to, to our first team. I think we're going to see more and more of our youth players integrating into the pros as we go forward. Uh, but Townsend Meyer's been here for 12 years. He's been the captain of his team uh, every year. Uh, he's played in two national championships with the club. Uh, he's getting ready to go off to Notre Dame, which is a huge stepping stone for him and the organization. Um, so for him to play in this environment is, is exactly what he needs. Um, and it's really, again, the main purpose of, uh, of this whole project, of having uh, a next level for our, our top tier players that can ultimately prepare him for either uh, the highest level professionally or to eventually develop him professionally in this environment. We're going to have a special eye on Townsend Meyer today. Any other players that we should be looking out for? Armani has been in tremendous shape. Any other players today that you're going to be expecting a lot from today? Well, you know, we've, we've, uh, we've moved uh, Michael Turner into the back line. You know, uh, Kuba has moved on into a, an opportunity in Poland in the first division uh, and, and has joined him in the preseason. So, you know, we, we feel that um, Michael Turner can fill in and build a really good relationship there with, with Travis Nicklaw. Um, you know, Shawnee Callahan returns and he's been so important to us moving the ball, you know, with what we've done and, and I think it's going to take a lot of the, the, the stress off of Luis and Townsend in, in the midfield. Just our ability to play with him and Luan and, and, and Michael Sowers and, and as everybody knows, I mean, right now, you know, my potential player of the year is Amani Walker. I mean, he's been on fire and he's, he's put this team on his back when it's needed. He's setting guys up for goals. He's He's supporting him with a voice in the locker room and, and, and from the bench when he's there. And, and he's just, he's really done a, a terrific job. So, um, you know, it's, um, you know, it, it's telling, it's just, we're, we'll, um, 
we'll, we'll, we'll wait to see how, what the end product is tonight. Of course, we know that the Albion Pros are a strong team, but the opponent today has given you a hard time in the first leg with a close 2-1 at their field. What can we expect from the opponent Sokil SC today? I just, I think you're gonna find a team that wants to, you know, take a hockey turn, muck it up, you know, and, and really get it to a point where it's it's not really about the game itself, you know, and it's, it's emotion and it's passion and it's everything but the ability to keep the ball and put the ball in the back of the net, you know, and, and so, you know, we're prepared for it, you know, I, I, I think that, you know, every, every team has their right and their tactics to do what they wanna do and we wanna make sure that we play the game the Albion way, and the, the challenge is when you play against an opponent that wants to dictate the, their style and their tempo of the game. So, you know, we know we've got to keep the ball, we've got to keep it in the run of the game. You know, an, an early goal would obviously help, and you know, the, the, the standings I think come off. But you know, you got two teams that want to win tonight, and should be a, a, an exciting evening for the fans. The last home game of the regular season uh, today, a special celebration as well. We had a very special game early on today with the coaching staff of Albion SC against the All-Stars you had a chance to showcase your skills out there. Was that a recruiting tool for you to see who's going to be the next Albion Pro's player making his debut from the youth team? Well, I, you know, I, Tim, I had to show I was versatile. I'm in a, in a contract year, so <laughs> I, I got to make sure that uh, I, I, they, they know that I can do more than just coach the pros. But no, all kidding aside, it, it was a great day, you know, to see just so much talent from our, our youth out there. And it's always a fun event and, and playing with the playing, playing with our, our youth and the players that are going to be coming up to, to, to join us with the pros in a couple of years. And, and, and uh, you know, just to just the camaraderie with all the coaches and the and the front office and the staff. It's just it's a it is a special day. And so you know it, it's it's obviously a, it's an honor and a, a privilege to be a, a part of this club. And and um, you know we're we're excited to kind of build on it because I you know I, this is you know as we transition into the game and then the, you know the, the the evening situation with with everybody getting together. And, and, you know it's just great with families, friends, and and, and all the all the people involved. The stadium is getting excited. You can hear the fans out there. Any last words in this last home game that you want to tell the San Diego soccer community and the Albion supporters, the Albion Nation? Uh, just uh, from the bottom of our heart, thank you for all the, the support all year. Um, you know, we, we hope to continue this as we get into the playoffs. Uh, you know, we, we know we have an opportunity to get there tonight with with a, with a win. So, um, you know, obviously the goal's been set high and, and our goal is a national championship. There's no hiding that. And uh, we've got a really good group that, that does play for this community and, and their support has been first class all throughout. So, you know, thanks for all that and look forward to seeing everybody after the game. The Albion Pros are about to kick off versus SoCal SC. Albion Nation, follow us for live updates on Twitter, hashtag ProsGameCoach. Thank you very much. Good luck for the game.